Hey guys, Farmer Jesse here. You remember a few weeks ago that I gave you uh, this this tip about how to uh, cook your CSA. Did, I, did it work? Did I put the card there? So. In that tip, I said that one of the best things you can do is to stock your shelves with as many starches as possible. And one of those starches that I love is corn flour or corn meal or uh, ground corn, however you want to call it. So today I want to talk about some of the things you can do with corn meal and give you a few ways to, to sort of work veggies into that. Um, so let's do it. All right, so some basic things about cornmeal is that you want to use as fresh a cornmeal as possible. Uh, it tends to have more uh, moisture in it when it's freshly ground, so it doesn't dry out as fast in things like cornbread. So when you get a dry cornbread, it's often the problem of the meal and not the recipe. Now, it, it definitely can be a problem with the recipe, but it does help to use freshly ground cornmeal. So there are a lot of different things to know about cornmeal. The first is really that there are stone ground cornmeals and then kind of the stuff you get in the store, which tends to be a little bit more uh, consistent. It's mechanically ground and it tends to have very fine, less less dynamic uh, diff variations in the, in the flakes. So like in, um, in stone ground cornmeal, you often get maybe slightly larger ones, slightly smaller ones, um, but what that does is you end up getting this this kind of sort of dynamic flavor um, from the gr the stone ground so that's why a lot of people prefer it especially bakers next it's worth noting there are kind of three different grades so you have your fine cornmeal which is really fine almost floury a lot of people will call it corn flour um, then you also have sort of a medium course which is uh, you know a dual purpose you can use it for cornbread a little bit maybe if you kind of like a chunk of your cornbread or you can also use it for grits and polenta and then you have a coarse ground which is generally used for things like grits and polenta um, that medium ground can also be used for um, uh, breading, you know, if you want to batter and fry catfish or something like that, you can use it for, for breading. And there's there's many things you can do with cornmeal. Oh, I, I forgot to mention corn cakes. Uh, corn cakes are awesome with cornmeal, so shout out to corn cakes. What's up, corn cakes? Uh, but those are the most basic, those are the kind of straightforward, so what we do had an itch. You know, like, like a normal human being, we love to cook cornbread. Uh, you know, we have a basic recipe we use that comes out of the Vittles book that uh, Ronnie Lundy did this past year, and it's wonderful. It's super simple and it doesn't have any sugar. And generally, when you use fresh ground cornmeal, you don't need sugar. The, 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 the fresher it is, the more moist it is, but it also kind of carries its own little sweetness. And when I say fresh, I mean it is dried corn. It's not fresh, obvious. It's snowing in my high tunnel right now. But it, it, you know, it carries a lot of those 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 flavors that you associate with corn forward uh, more than if you buy just ground cornmeal in the store. Getting it from a farmer is a great way to get a really flavorful cornmeal. And and uh, I should say just. I want to do an episode specifically on polenta and grits, so I'm not going to talk too much about that right now. Um, I will say that those things are great and, and you should try all of those things with your cornmeal. You should go find some fresh cornmeal uh, and try a few different things. They're not that hard to make and they go with a lot of different things and that's what I want to talk about is kind of how to use um, cornmeal in conjunction with vegetables. So maybe you have a CSA or maybe you like to just shop at the farmer's market. So knowing how to use these starches helps you to use that to use those vegetables. Uh, one great example of that is cornbread. So cornbread, you can make a big bat, like, you know, enough to, to have two or three meals, sort of like I recommended on this video. Did it work? And in so doing, uh, you'll have two, two or three different meals um, over the course, you know, so you can have it fresh right out of the oven, you can have fresh cornbread, and the next day you can kind of just warm it back up and use it in a variety of different things. So my favorite way to incorporate vegetables with cornbread uh, is, is soup, stew, chili, uh, any, any sort of rich hearty thing because it's, it's, I think it's 20 degrees out right now, so it's a really good time to have stew and those sorts of things. But you know, it also works really well with just some sauteed kale and some, you know, some sort of uh, small piece of meat or some ground meat. I mean, grits, what can't you do with grits? Grits are like the ultimate hash, right? South Carolina, I think of like Southern grits hash, like a, a way to use, you know, maybe some beans and some and some greens and some and some cheese and all these things to put in and, and to sort of use that starch as the base and then just build on top of it. Polenta and mushrooms, oh. That sounds delicious. 
those sorts of things, I mean, you, you, there's so many options for how you can and sort of employ your uh, cornmeal to a you know, different kind of base for the vegetables that you're constantly getting. So especially in the wintertime when you're getting a lot of greens, cornmeal is the ultimate base for those things. Anyway, those are some ideas. Uh, I, as always, if you like this video, please like this video, uh, subscribe, and also share it with your friends. And otherwise, we hope you guys stay warm, have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. It's literally ice.